hitting 22 winners and 17 unforced errors. The Swiss fended off both breakpoints he faced, neutralizing Evans' slices and imposing his shots to break the Briton once in each set and march into the second round. Vavrinka grabbed 12 of the first 14 points, stealing Daniel's serve with a backhand winner in Game 2 and repelling two break points in Game 5 to move 4-1 to one up. The rain sent him off the court after the eighth game and they returned a couple of hours later, with Stan closing the opener with another great told in Game 9. The Swiss rattled off one good service game after another in set number two, breaking Evans in game three and blasting a backhand down the line winner in game ten to race into the second round. Jeremy Chardy needed 63 minutes to topple Mikhail Kokoshkin 6-1, 6-3, dropping 12 points behind the initial shot and never losing serve, delivering four breaks to control the scoreboard all the time and book the place in the last 16. Long breaks are never easy but they are part of our sport, it is not easy for the tournament, players and the crowd that come to support us. Today I got lucky to play and finish my match, the atmosphere was great despite the rain delay, it is fantastic for us to enter the court and see so many people around. I think the tournament is doing a great job with all that rain in the last couple of days, we appreciate how they take care of the players and to make us feel better. I think I played on a very high level against Evans, we played twice before and he just won two challenges on grass, scoring probably more wins than me on grass in the entire career. I'm happy with the way I played and there's a new challenge tomorrow. In slick conditions, you need to be a little bit careful, taking more small steps and avoid big steps and any aggressive movement. If we look at how much it rained in the last few days, the conditions were good and the court is amazing to play on. Let's block ads. Why?